Hello and welcome to the 35th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at rotating a view. We'll be using source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a view set up. We will now look at rotating it, which could be used in a game to rotate the screen to see it from a different perspective. Maybe on a mobile device you might use two fingers and rotate it that way. That's, that's uh, quite common to do that. So first of all, we've got to open up our project before we can actually do anything. Rotating the view is extremely simple. The first method we will use rotates the view from its current rotation, hence can be applied multiple times. So what we're going to do is just after we set the view, we're going to do view, actually before we do this, let's just run the application and show you what it looks like. We have our view which is massive and we have our sprite. And what we're going to be doing is view.rotate. And this takes a float parameter, I'm just going to put 25 and it's in degrees by the way. And let's just run our application and you're going to see something interesting. You may notice that the view still looks the same. It's not that the view hasn't been updated, uh, but the fact that the window stores a copy of the view, not a pointer. Hence the view must be set every time you make a change to it. Don't worry about performance when setting the view as it just a bunch of flow variables. So it's, so it's a very lightweight to set it multiple times. To basically get around this, you just need this line here, window.setView and just set the view every time after you make a change to the view. So now if we run it, as you can see, it has rotated. And so what we're going to be doing is just, we're gonna, no, not this, we're gonna copy and paste the view.rotate, because as we mentioned, this can be applied multiple times. We're gonna apply it two more times, so we total 75 degrees. And as you can see, it has rotated twice more or two times after that. You can also rotate the view relative to its original rotation of zero. Basically, you absolutely rotate it. And for that, what you do is we're gonna comment these lines out for a moment. Do view dot set rotation, which also takes a float variable. And what we're going to be doing is just putting 25, run our application. We get the same result as using the rotate method once, but if we apply this multiple times, apply it, we can apply it as many times as we want, and nothing is going to change. I can see it is still the same because it sets its rotation relative to its original rotation. It doesn't offset it from its current rotation. No task, try using the skills learned earlier in this series to detect key events and rotate the view using the arrow keys or the WASD keys, or maybe even using the mouse to click and drag. That is it for this part of the series. In the next part, we're gonna be looking at scaling our view. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the requirements for source code will be in the description. Um, you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.